Hi Libra and welcome to your love tarot forecast. This is for February 1st through February 15th, 2019. So Libra, I'm going to start off by pulling a card for your energy and a card for the energy of who you are involved with. Um, I tend to read you on this side and the other person over here, but if you resonate more over there, feel free to flip the reading. So let me get these shuffled for you. All right. Okay, so you have the snow leopard. That's your energy. This is how you are coming out, self-reliance. You are, you are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. So Libra, um, these next two weeks in regards to love and romance, whether you're single, coupled up, just dating somebody, kind of crushing on somebody, your energy feels very uh, solitary, very uh, within yourself, kind of more in observation mode, kind of, you know, contemplating, watching, observing, and I don't want to say this is like a self-imposed exile, but it's almost like you're really segregating yourself whether you're in a relationship or not over these next two weeks you just you want to see things from a different perspective i don't know with this spirit is really within you these next two weeks you're just feeling it um so pay attention to that Ooh, over here on this other side we have goose inner knowing you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. So, Libra, um, whether you are dating or um, with somebody, it doesn't matter. Um, the person who's you know connected to you in a romantic way, even if we're broken up, they feel you. And they just, they know what you're going through. Like, even though you're kind of disconnected and quiet, like, you could be like, oh, no, everything's fine and all of that. But they, they feel that. They're going to sense a shift in your energy and they might personalize it. But, you know, just reassure them that, no, this is just something in me. Like, spirit's just talking to me. I'm just, I need to be in my own space, my own energy. That's just how I feel about you. Um, very solitary and over here it's you know somebody either just knows like they fill you inside out so they give you that space and they're very respectful of that um, or if you're disconnected from somebody and you're really thinking about them Libra they know it they're feeling it too so let's pull some more cards to add to this All right, we have Surrender, we have Lessons, and we have Summer. Okay, Libra, a um, couple of things here. I kind of feel that some of you broke up with somebody or stopped seeing somebody. Like, you just really put a lot of distance between the two of you, and... Um, whether you want to be with them or not, like you just surrender to whatever is, you're like, well, whether we get back together or not, I guess it's really inconsequential. Like, I'm just what it, it is, what it is. Like, this is kind of your attitude about it. But the thing is, there's a lot of lesson to be learned here. And so, uh, if you're feeling disconnected from your current partner, uh, you just don't want to date anybody these next two weeks, you just really want to be alone. It's because Spirit is working on you, Libra. There's a lot um, that Spirit's trying to pull from the surface. There's so many dots Spirit's trying to connect for you, okay, so that you can make sense of things. Um, and some of you, it may have been like all was well, but now you're just kind of in this place of, you know, what is this? Like, why am I feeling like this? Um, and now we come to summer. Libra, if we're disconnected from somebody, and you very well may reconnect in summer, okay? Or if we've been disconnected from somebody since last summer, 
we might be reconnecting them with them now over these next two weeks okay either case it's like they'll tell you I knew we would always run into each other or I knew you would reach out to me um, or you're like I knew you would reach out to me like I don't know um, there's the huge significance around the month of summer either that's when we met that's when we um, parted our ways or we're about to come back together this summer you know something like that um, or if you've been in you know kind of this funk where you want to be separate segregated um, I would say when you start feeling warmer inside you know that will shift probably as the months get warmer you'll start feeling a change in your energy as well it's just there's some lessons that you and whoever you're involved with like spirits trying to really bring those um, to the forefront into your consciousness because if we're broken up, Libra, I kind of see a reconciliation by summer. Um, if we are thinking, if we just recently ended a relationship or somebody just broke up with us, um, I definitely see by summer either we're completely over it or we're coming back together. But there's a great lesson um, to be learned over these next two weeks or it's like you're finally connecting the dots. So let's see, Libra. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. Um, so this is kind of your energy where you're articulating yourself, but not in an emotional way, not in a warm way, just in a very matter of factual way. All right, and that's it's coming through as the page. Um, I feel, again, that, you know, spirit's working on you because look at, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and this is just part of your destiny, what you're going through, what you're feeling. It's time to really understand these different challenges and lessons. And, you know, um, if you're really wanting to reconcile with somebody who's not in your life, this is Spirit saying it's all about divine timing. Next we have the Five of Wands. So this is some internal conflict. And lastly, we have the two of cups yes look at that beautiful soul connection right there libra yep so um whether we want to get back with somebody or we want to actually meet our twin flame soulmate um or we need to get our current relationship kind of back in balance it doesn't really matter libra by the summer it's like we're we're back in this soul connected space or we're reconnecting or we're meeting our twin flame okay so let's uh keep clarifying so <clears throat> this um six of wands comes out on this page of swords libra not being too caught up in your emotions is actually what brings you to victory okay um and you doing what is best for you is what brings you victory you've really got to focus on yourself these next two weeks um no matter what because i see like spirits really trying to bring some sort of lesson forth and so here we have the seven of wands to clarify this will of fortune yeah there's some frustration some challenge some things coming at you but spirits like the will is turning and as these lessons really expand into your consciousness the will turns and you're back on top again and all of this energy you know really just falls away yeah and look at this we have the um, nine of cups which is clarifying the um, six of wands but we'll just do them side by side because they just kind of cover each other up it is truly your desire your wish to get over whatever this internal issue is um, inside of you whether it's in your mind your heart you know whatever spirits are doing to you you're like I just I want to be happy like that is my goal like I truly want to be happy and if you've really closed yourself off to love um, this is your internal struggle where your heart's trying to turn back on because Libra there is uh, this you know relationship that's meant for you okay and look at we're gonna just put her actually behind this is you and your your twin flame your soulmate all right and see they're looking at you libra 
And um, even though air is you, I, I really feel like this is them because they're coming through as geese, which is air. Um, and here's this person looking at you with this two of cups energy in their heart. Like, I want Libra, okay? But you're coming out as a page, they're coming out as a queen. And again, if you resonate more on this side, feel free to swap it, okay? But it's like this energy is more grown than the energy over here. Um, and like I said, spirit's working on some stuff, but the soul connection exists in both of you, you know, whether we're disconnected, um, or we're still together, but just really in the struggle there, they want to be with you, Libra. They want to do what it takes, whatever you need, what will, whatever will make you happy. Like they want to do that. But again, much like you, they're not really, um, coming at you from an emotional standpoint or speaking to you from that place. It's more very matter of fact, very um, logical, all of those things. So somebody newer that comes into your life over these next two weeks, I think you're re you'll have a really good connection. But it's almost like you want to push it away. Don't overthink things, Libra. Just let things happen trust spirit and i just feel like by the summer all all of this is resolved whatever it is all of it is resolved so let's pull some shadow aspects of why we're distancing ourselves why we're separating ourselves okay so over here if I knew then what I know what I know now, I would have made different choices. So that's on this six of um, wands with this page of uh, swords. So yeah, this is like I know I screwed up type of energy, one sided. Um, there's just one sided relationship. One person's giving more than the other. And then look at pain, and this sits on that inner conflict with the Nine of Cups because it's like what I want, I can't have, or I can't get past the past and what's happened. So I'm in conflict, like I want it, but I don't want it. And over here, um, look at on the Queen of Swords, we have medicating. I'm not surprised to see that. There's a lot of heartache and pain um, existing right now in you and them. And, you know, it's why that is why we're disconnected it's different for all of you but right now the bottom line is is because spirit is trying to say you have lessons to learn things to understand you as well as them and um you may think that they don't feel and they don't miss you but they do um if you are connected with somebody you might feel like they're just really cold and aloof and the thing is there's a lot of pain inside of them and if we just kind of distance ourselves and surrender to spirit and ask spirit to show what lessons need to be incorporated and learned here, I really feel by summertime um, we're going to know exactly what to do. Like it's a huge energy shift by then. We're at the top of the wheel by then and we're not in a one-sided relationship anymore. We're not missing and pining for anybody, okay? So look to the summer, Libra. All right, let's see what else is coming out. And that's not to say things won't improve between now and then, but it's like the complete, the completion of the, the moving wheel takes place by summer. Okay, home environment. Yeah, so those of you who are still together, it could be a very uncomfortable situation. And um, I do feel that energy is improving, but it's it happens much quicker when we figure out what spirit is trying to teach us wish cards so this right here you have the nine of cups kind of twice best card to appear in a spread a wish is granted i love it and a pleasant surprise look at that so libra things have a way of turning around Things have a way of working themselves out. You've just got to trust. And right now, it's time to surrender. It's time to pull back. It's time to release. It's time to trust in divine timing. And it's time to let spirit do its magic and ask spirit, what is it that I need to do? What do I need to purge? What do I need to understand to make my relationship better or for me and this person to reconcile or for me to actually be able to open up and let somebody in, let somebody new in. So let's pull some advice. 
Because look, Libra, there's two hearts here. These two hearts totally beat and wish for each other, okay? But we're going through a lot of spiritual lessons and don't give up. I see that the, the home environment is, you know, could be really affected and hard right now. But here's two hearts that truly desire each other. Um, surrender your need to always be right. And that's the advice on this side. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. This, to me, is spirit talking more about you and the thoughts in your mind where spirit saying, Libra, the reason why this is happening is because you might not have it figured out so perfectly as you have been thinking. You need to surrender. You need to quiet your mind. You need to pull back. You need to be still. You need to observe because then you're really going to understand everything. The lessons are going to incorporate into your consciousness. You're going to be like, oh, I get it. Over here um, on their side, we have surrender worry. So if we're in a committed relationship, they feel it, Libra. They feel uh, you pulling away or they're feeling the, the distance disconnection. Um, if you guys are completely broken up, they, they still feel you. Uh, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worry arises, uh, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Yep. Spirit is guiding um, this person as well as you, Libra. And you just got some spiritual work to do. So let's pull one final card here. Help others heal by letting go of the past. Wow. Libra. Whatever's happened in the past, Spirit is really trying to enlighten you and bring you into the lesson of it so that you can heal it, purge it, move on, reconnect um, with the person you're currently with, or um, reconcile with somebody you've disconnected from, or completely clean yourself out so that the new beautiful soulmate um, relationship, okay, I know that's dark, gosh darn it. So the new beautiful soulmate relationship could come in. All right, Libra? It's like one of the three has got to happen. So you only know what's going on in your world. Um, and with that said, Libra, those are your messages in regards to love and romance. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.